Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Now, just recently, Microsoft announced that anyone with an Office 365 subscription gets unlimited cloud storage. I actually didn't know about this. I have an Office 365 subscription. That's freaking awesome. Thanks, Keys. Amazon also announced that its Prime members will get unlimited cloud photo storage. Hey, I have Prime too. But what sounds better, that? or unlimited cat photo storage on my own personal hard drives. I'll accept payment in socks and sandals. Yep, this script has keys written all over it. <laughs>are talking a lot about the cloud these days, and why shouldn't they? The internet and internet users are growing at a phenomenal pace, and they need pervasively available storage to keep up with them. What would, what would pervasive storage be? For the uninitiated, the cloud basically refers to huge numbers of computers connected to the internet, and the companies that own them charge you, the user, to store your stuff there or use their processing power, hopefully, with adequate security for your sensitive data. Then, you can access it from anywhere that has an internet connection. So yes, you could buy a bunch of hard drives and set up a personal cloud. In fact, a lot of companies like QNAP and Western Digital make cloud-enabled NAS storage products you can buy so that you can access your own content through the internet wherever you are without paying fees to another company to host it. But if you don't mind paying a monthly fee to avoid the potential hassle of setting up your own cloud storage, then there are a plethora of storage options available and competition is bringing us better deals all the time. I mean, heck, there's tons of free options too. So let's take a look at the what's what, what, what in the cloud, I said what, what, in the cloud. Pretty much all cloud storage services will have a free account with a low storage limit and a limited, amount, a limited daily transfer or something along those lines, and then higher capacity paid options for more serious users or businesses. So looking at free options, Dropbox gives you two gigs, but you can earn more free space by referring friends, linking your account to Facebook or Twitter, and so on. So Keys has about 17 gigs sitting in his account from back in the day. Amazon Cloud Drive gives you five gigs for free. Box, which is different than Dropbox, will give you 10 gigs for free but restricts your file sizes to 250 megs. <laughs> Google Drive gives you 15 gigs for free, which is actually shared between your Drive, Gmail, and Google Plus accounts. And Microsoft's OneDrive also offers 15 gigs for free but ups it to 30 gigs if you enable auto photo upload from your phone or tablet. So basically, they're just gonna give you more if you promise to like use it more. Then we get to the paid options, those uh, you know pro options for power users and businesses, which include more robust features for managing multiple users or for larger amounts of data. We're gonna focus on the consumer side of the paid options though, since business options could pretty much be a whole other episode. Dropbox's pro account gives you one terabyte of storage for around 10 bucks a month. Box gives you only 100 gigs for 10 bucks a month, although if you're sharing an account with others, it goes down to $6, and they still impose file size limits of either two gigs or five gigs, depending on your account. Amazon has a few different pricing tiers, so we'll put that in a graphic, but their 100 gig option is 50 bucks a year, which translates to around $4 a month. If you paid a $100 membership to Amazon Prime, however, you get unlimited photo storage in addition to all their other services. Google, on the other hand, will give you 100 gigs for two bucks a month and one terabyte for 10, matching Dropbox Pro. And you can also purchase up to 30 terabytes at the same rate. And that brings us to Microsoft. So they've, as we alluded to before, rolled out unlimited storage on their OneDrive service to Office 365 home, personal, and university customers. And it's apparently coming soon for business customers as well. So that means for $7 monthly or $70 yearly, you get the full office suite, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, plus unlimited cloud storage. Since a lot of people use Office, that is probably the most attractive option out of what's available right now if you were gonna pay for cloud storage anyway. It's true that a lot of the other companies' business options will get you unlimited storage, but you'd be paying more and missing out on the Office software. The NCIX crew uses Google's free Drive Office apps for pretty much everything, and they haven't hit the 15 gig limit yet, so depending on your own needs, you may or may not even need a paid cloud storage solution of some sort, but if you do, 
We want to hear from you guys. What services do you use for cloud storage? What features are most important to you? Leave a comment and we'll go through and presumably read them as far as you know. All right, thanks for watching this episode of NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And also leave a comment at the bottom of the video giving you know, constructive criticism about Keys' first NCIX Tech Tips script rather than Netlink script. Burn him. Burn him alive.